What up, y'all? This is Tracy and Matt from Nerd Squish, and today we got a movie review. Uh, 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 uh. So, like I said, today we have a movie review because we finally, finally watched Hereditary. It was tight. <laughs> We're a little late to the game. I know. I know. You're judging us, but. Hey, we watched it, and here we are, so whatever. First, I'm gonna warn you guys, this is a spoiler-heavy review. Somebody says it can be done without it. I feel like this is the kind of movie you cannot, you cannot review or talk about this movie without giving away some spoilers. Like, it's in in oh, hey, inevitable. <laughs> Drinks. No, I shouldn't even say that. I can't talk without them, so anyway. Did you fart? <laughs> no. She farted. It's probably Lily. Don't blame the dog. Did you, did you hear it or smell it? I smelled it. That's probably your upper lip. I'm gonna start this by saying that I enjoyed the movie. Okay. Um, but it was severely hyped, like hyped to the tenth degree, and I feel like because of that, I'm looking at it little bit negatively. Well, and I think the reason it was hyped is because this movie breaks a lot of stereotypes in these types of movies, right? Um, you have a creepy little girl, you're like, okay, we know the creepy little girl, she's on the poster, that's gonna be the whole movie. Not true. Um, it, it changes up completely. Dies before even the middle of the movie. Um, and it's just kind of slow, like, I don't know. I enjoyed it, but, and I respect the fact that they did a lot of things differently in this movie, but, uh, I don't know. For sure. The, the first part that really became like, oh shit, something's happening, is when the little girl dies. But I do agree that it broke a lot of stereotypes because it is definitely like a slow burn to the point where kind of in the beginning, like you could tell they're leading up, they're making you tense. You're like, okay, come on. When is something gonna happen? You know, kind of situation. Um, but it's good because it's like, a lot of people hate jump scares and I'm not one of those people. I enjoy a, a, a well-calculated jump scare. I really do. Um, but the Wasn't fact that in this they movie. don't... Well, and I think the fact that they don't have it is refreshing. That doesn't happen in horror anymore. It takes a long time for this movie to get going, which is my only qualm. Uh, I'm not saying I needed to be like balls to the wall right out the gate, but once it got going, I thought it was good. Oh my God, once it got going, it was, <laughs> it was gone. That was it. It got nuts. This one scene specifically... <laughs> Where the mom uh, ends up being possessed, right? And she's chasing the son, and she he climbs into the attic, and she's slamming her head oh. on the attic door. It's pretty nice. That pretty whole creepy. well, the whole end scene is just. There is a scene in the attic um, where the mom sort of follows this trend that happened with her mom when she died, except she does it to herself with her head. It took me good. the longest time to figure out like what she was actually doing, but like it just the, and that's I knew immediately. As that's what I'll heart. say is that like the imagery in this movie like is terrifying. This particular scene reminded me of something straight from the remake of Evil Dead, like the way her eyes yeah. were and the yeah, way she was, I can see that. Yeah. Well, I think you know a lot of people compared it to it's like oh it's this. Generations Exorcist and I think it, that was a little bit of a stretch But I get where you're coming from because like the imagery like kept me up like I watched it and I'm like You know seeing her with the and then I'm seeing like, you know when they show the little girl's head decapitated with like the ants all over it and then the parts where the mom I mean she's been through so much that she's for a while, you don't know if like it's all in her head or what's going on, but they have this, the the scene where the brother has the ants all over him, and then they're on fire and stuff, and it, it's, just, it sticks with you. It just in this movie, particularly until it gets right to the very end, they pretty much do do everything that you think they wouldn't. They they just flip that on its head, right? So there's this one scene where she finds out that she's tied to. The journal that her daughter, or the the art book that she yeah. used to write her daughter, and so she tried to burn it, and her arm caught on fire. Well, then she she knows that she's tied to it, so she convinces her husband, and you need to throw this in, and he thinks she's just crazy. 
So she ends up throwing it in and catches him on fire. Just because the spirit was like, nah, fuck that. <laughs> so. It was. It, 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 you know, there's certain things like we guessed along the way. Like, you know, when you first uh, meet the Lady Joni from from the, the yeah, group or whatever. that immediately. And we were like, witches. And we're like, okay, well, it's not necessarily witches. Demonic cult. Cult, you know, witch, cult. <laughs> tomato, tomato. Yeah. But, um. I don't know. There's not really much about it that was predictable. It it was wild. It was pretty weird, and that's what's kind of awesome about scary movies is that the weirder they are, usually it's kind of scary. Um, I enjoyed it. Like I said, I didn't, I didn't think it was as good as the hype was, um, and maybe that's exactly what it went in. I heard that it was so good, I went into it expecting this masterpiece. I don't know. I, I think it was a solid movie, but yeah, I think I expected... More, just because of the hype, but I think it was definitely a solid, I don't know if I were original would be the right word, but just like a good, like, I have no idea what's about to happen kind of situation. I would use original. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was good. It was really good, and like, the actors, it, they were all really great. Um, the main lady, don't know her name. She, she was, was awesome. great. She was great. Knocked it out the park. I would say that if you are a fan of movies that have a crazy amount of detail, something you can go back and watch two, three, four times, this is probably the movie for that because there's so many in-depth clues. So much so that I was watching the movie, but I was also kind of goofing off on my phone, and I was like, I'm gonna miss a lot of little details because this whole movie was just riddled with tiny little things. If you're one of these people that complain about, oh, horror movies are stale, they're predictable, they're just, you know, killers chasing sex crazed teenagers like this is what you need to watch it's refreshing it's different it's there for you i like killers like chasing people I couldn't tell by your t-shirt at all yeah <laughs> now this movie movie starts really slow kind of gets boring picks up when it picks up gives you what you want um i wish i could i would have wanted a little more once it picks up but it still continues to not be predictable as it goes to the third act, I think, so. It's still a good movie. It was kind of like at the end. It got super weird. It, hit, it got it, very uh, Lords of Salem. Yeah, a yeah. little bit. Okay, so definitely not, it didn't go full Lords of Salem. It wasn't like, where's this like turkey man coming from and what's happening right now? But we were on the verge. Like, we were on the verge because even though, you know, I, I knew what was happening because they had talked about um, in that book that she found of her mother's about, what was the demon's name? Payman or whatever his name is. They talked about that. So I was like, okay, I'm picking up what you're putting down. But also, WTF mate, uh, I'm confused. Like, everybody's naked. Lots of naked people, not lots of naked old people, lots of decapitated people. If you like old naked people with no heads, this is your movie. You found it, guys. <laughs> So thank you guys for watching our review today. I don't know what we're gonna say after this. <laughs> thank you guys for watching our review today. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to see more videos like this in the future because we will be reviewing them and getting drunk to them all. Ha! <laughs> Bye y'all. Bye.